there's bookstores and people watching and just lovely things to just sit around. It's, it's the culture of Ann Arbor. There's a, there's a fairly vibrant uh, karaoke scene in Ann Arbor. I'm attending the summer program as I'm studying English and in one of the class I have the go to the art museum. We have a thriving intramural program. I remember one of my first weekends here, like I just went to a local bookstore and like really got to enjoy that. There was a program to the Ford School called IDP, um, through which I went to Cape Verde last year. And of course there are so many international students here. And so Japanese and Koreans and Chinese. I've been to Africa now uh, five or six times. When you ask people what are their interests, a lot of the Michiganders will be like, you know, I'm interested in social policy, inequity, and like Detroit. Uh, University of Michigan students, after they graduate, if they're looking to really uh, experience what it is to be a part of a community that's making a difference, that's really invested in the work that they do, they usually find that in Detroit. At first, um, just in my image, in America there's only hamburger or oily or pizza food. Uh, it's not so. Oh, I love the farmer's market and you get to know the vendors, you get to know the vegetables. So I'm a big coffee addict. So I've explored all the major coffee places and there's one for basically every single day of the week and one for every single mood you could possibly have. Things to do with my nieces. I mean, the food, forget about it. We went to Tomoka Noodles and they've never had pho before. I mean, it was fabulous. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to, to provide them with that experience. I love it.